breastfeeding provides optimal nutrition, immune support, and bonding for the infant, driven by a complex interaction of anatomical structures and hormonal pathways. Externally, the breast consists of the nipple and areola, containing numerous openings through which milk is expressed. Internally, the breast is composed of 1520 lobes divided into smaller lobules, containing alveoli, where milk is synthesized and stored. Lactogenesis, or milk production, begins under the influence of prolactin, stimulating alveolar cells to secrete milk components into the lumen. The milk then flows from the alveoli through a network of ducts, increasing in size as they approach the nipple. The composition of milk changes over time, transitioning from nutrient-dense colostrum to mature milk, each tailored to the infant's needs. This complex system works in harmony to produce and deliver milk, providing optimal nutrition for the developing infant. Milk travels through an intricate ductal system, converging into larger lactiferous ducts that transport milk toward the nipple. Prolactin promotes milk synthesis. While oxytocin stimulates the contraction of myoepithelial cells, ejecting milk during breastfeeding. Infant suckling triggers a neurohormonal reflex that releases oxytocin, causing milk to be ejected from the alveoli through the ducts. Effective breastfeeding requires a deep latch, allowing the infant to compress the areola and create negative pressure, drawing milk efficiently. Breast milk contains essential nutrients, antibodies, and bioactive factors tailored to the infant's developmental needs. Milk composition evolves, beginning with colostrum rich in immunoglobulins, then transitioning to mature milk with balanced nutrients. Breastfeeding benefits both mother and infant, promoting uterine involution, enhancing immune defense, and strengthening emotional bonds.